Welcome to my course on Genome Editing and Engineering. In this module, we have been discussing about the applications of genome editing in, in treating human uh, diseases. In today's lecture, we will be discussing about uh, hemophilia. Uh, we will start with some basic concepts uh, regarding the disease and existing treatment modalities and uh, slowly move on to the applications of gene therapy and then finally, genome editing in the treatment of uh, hemophilia. So, Center for Disease Control and uh, Prevention uh, describes uh, hemophilia uh, as an inherited bleeding disorder in which the blood does not clot properly. And due to this uh, non-clotting of the blood, uh, the patient can uh, bleed and uh, uh, due to various uh, factors like uh, injuries or even during uh, surgery. Blood contains many proteins called clotting factors that can help to stop bleeding. People with hemophilia have low levels of either factor 8 or factor 9. The severity of hemophilia that a person has is determined by the amount of factor in the blood. The lower the amount of the factor, the more likely it is that bleeding will occur which can lead to serious health problems. In rare cases, a person can develop hemophilia later in life. The majority of cases involve middle-aged or elderly people or young women who have recently given birth or are in the later stages of a pregnancy. This condition often results with appropriate treatment. So, we now know that hemophilia is a hereditary uh, bleeding uh, disorder. Uh, in fact, uh, hemophilia is a uh, group of multiple diseases that include inherited abnormalities of primary and uh, secondary uh, hemostasis. It results from the deficiency of functional abnormality of one of the plasma proteins that, in, that is involved in the coagulation of blood. Hemophilia and Vol Wilbrand disease VWD are the most common uh, hereditary bleeding disorders. About 400,000 people are suffering from hemophilia and only 25% uh, of them receive adequate uh, treatment. Uh, the hemophilia disease is characterized by painful and often spontaneous hemorrhages into joints and soft tissues that are life threatening if uh, it is intracranial, gastrointestinal or in the neck or throat. Uh, hemorrhosis accounts for 70 to 80% of all, of all bleeding episodes and leads to hemophilic uh, arthropathy. Hemophilic uh, arthropathy finally leads to major issues with joint mobility, decreasing overall patient function and quality of life. Let us uh, go into the history of this disease. In 1803, John Conrad Otto was the first to report a hemorrhagic bleeding disorder that primarily affects men and ran in certain families. Uh, in 1813, John Hay reported in the New England Journal of Medicine that this disease affected men could pass the trait for a bleeding disorder to their unaffected daughters. The word uh, hemorrhophilia that became uh, hemophilia was coined by Frederick Hoff, a student at the University of Zurich and his mentor Dr. Sloan Lien in 1828. In 1947, Dr. Alfredo Pavlovsky, a doctor in Buenos Aires, Argentina, distinguished two types of hemophilia in his lab called as hemophilia A and hemophilia B. This website hemophilia.org contains many useful information regarding the disease. Let us look into the genetics of this uh, particular disease. Uh, as you can see in 1813 itself, John Hay had reported about uh, affected fathers passing on the disease to unaffected daughters. So, in this uh, slide, we are going to discuss about the inheritance of this disease or the genetics. Hemophilia is caused by a mutation in one of the genes that make the clotting factor proteins needed to form a blood clot. And these genes are located on the X chromosome. And we know the males inherit the X chromosomes from their mother and the Y chromosome from their father while the daughters inherit the X chromosome one copy each uh, from father and mother respectively. Now, uh, supposingly there is a normal father with X, Y normal chromosomes, 
but there is a carrier mother having a X chromosome which carries the mutated genes uh, and one normal X uh, chromosome. So, the offsprings uh, would inherit uh, uh, in the uh, pattern as shown in this picture. So, uh, if this uh, male who inherits uh, the X chromosome uh, from the father and uh, sorry the X chromosome uh, this uh, individual male who inherits the X chromosome from the mother and the Y chromosome uh, from the father will be a normal uh, individual while this male offspring which inherits the X chromosome uh, from the mother and the Y chromosome uh, from the father uh, will be having the disease. This female offspring inheriting the normal X chromosomes from mother and father respectively will be a normal individual while the last female offspring inheriting the normal X chromosome from the father and the X chromosome carrying the mutated genes will be a carrier. So, if you look into the overall uh, distribution of the offspring between a normal father and a carrier mother, 50 percent of the male offsprings uh, will be hemophilic, while 50 percent of the daughters uh, will be carriers. And uh, overall, 50 percent of the children will be uh, normal uh, children. So, this is in brief the genetics of the hemophilia uh, disease. So, we will try to find out a little bit more information about these genes which are located on the x axis. One may question why uh, uh, these individual having a mutated X chromosome uh, is having the disease. The reason is the dominance of the X factors on the X chromosome uh, against which there is no any corresponding genes on the Y chromosome. Hemophilia is also called as the royal disease. Uh, this disease uh, has affected the royal families of many European nations in the past like England, Germany, Russia and Spain in the 19th and 20th centuries and is therefore known uh, infamously as the royal disease. It is believed that uh, Queen Victoria of England who ruled from 1837 to 1901 was a uh, uh, carrier uh, of hemophilia B or factor 9 deficiency who passed the trait on to 3 of her 9 children. Uh, her 30 year old son Leopold died of a hemorrhage after a fall. Her daughters Alice and Beatrice passed it on to several of her uh, grandchildren. Uh, Alice Mary, uh, married Jar Nicholas of uh, uh, sorry Alice's uh, daughter uh, Alex uh, married Jar Nicholas of Russia and uh, uh, their son Alexei uh, had uh, hemophilia. Uh, hemophilia was carried through various European royal family members for three generations uh, after uh, Queen Victoria and then it uh, suddenly disappeared uh, from these uh, royal uh, families. What is the prevalence of uh, hemophilia uh, apart from the uh, infamous uh, occurrence in the royal families of Europe? Uh, hemophilia is equally distributed among all ethnic groups worldwide. The estimated frequency of hemophilia is around uh, 1 in 1 lakh live births. Hemophilia A is present uh, in 1 in 5000 live male births whereas uh, hemophilia B is present in 1 in 30,000 live uh, male births. Uh, due to its X-linked inheritance pattern, uh, geographical areas with a higher frequency of uh, consanguineous marriages like Egypt have a higher prevalence of the disease. Hemophilia C generally occurs in 1 uh, of every uh, 100,000 uh, people. Uh, however, uh, Ashkenazi Jews have a higher incidence of factor 9 deficiency which is around 8 percent. Uh, India ranked first in number of registered patients with hemophilia 
uh, including A, B, C in 2016 with a total number of uh, 18,383 patients with a prevalence of 1.4 in 100,000 uh, populations followed by the United States and China. Uh, by this time, uh, we have uh, known that there are three types of hemophilia, hemophilia A which occurs due to factor 8 deficiency, hemophilia B which occurs due to factor 9 deficiency and uh, there is uh, a hemophilia C uh, which is due to factor 11 deficiency. Hemophilia A is also called classic hemophilia, is the second most common type of all hereditary bleeding disorders after VWD and the most common type of hemophilia in the world. Uh, hemophilia A or HA is five times more common than hemophilia B or HB. Hemophilia A and B are the only HBDs that are inherited in a sex linked model uh, and the affected gene is located on the long arm of the X chromosome. Hemophilia C, C is the rarest form, it is an autosomal a retreating disorder and bleeding symptoms due to the deficiency of factor 9 uh, are seen in the hemophilia C cases. HA and HB are single lean gene disorders uh, occurring due to a mutation in either the coagulation factor 8 gene or the coagulation factor 9 gene and being single gene disorders this disease is the ideal candidate for gene therapy. Uh, or uh, by uh, through gene editing uh, or gene engineering uh, technologies. The mutations result in deficient synthesis of coagulation factors 8 and 9 respectively for HA and HB uh, presenting as hemorrhagic tendencies in the patients. HA and HB both exhibit X-linked inheritance because the gene for uh, factor 8 and the gene for factor 9 are located on the long arm of the X chromosomes and there is no any corresponding uh, chromosomal location on the Y axis. Uh, due to X-linked inheritance only males suffer from this bleeding disorder and the carrier females do not usually suffer from the excessive uh, bleeding because the corresponding X uh, chromosome uh, uh, X as a uh, buffer or uh, you know dominating factor against these uh, mutations in the long arm. However, bleeding symptoms are seen in carriers when they have sufficient significant reductions in uh, factor 8 levels which may cause due to incomplete uh, complete inactivation of the factor 8 gene during initial uh, embryogenesis. There is a classification of hemophilia based on severity as well. The frequency of bleeding depends on the residual coagulation factor level and the genotype of the patients. Factor uh, 8 or factor 9 level. Uh, normal ranges 50 to uh, 150 uh, IU per DL uh, typically correlates with bleeding severity. So, uh, based on this severity they can be divided into mild, moderate and severe hemophilia. In mild hemophilia uh, uh, the 5 to 50 IU per uh, DL uh, bleeding is more likely to occur following trauma or surgery and unprovoked hemorrhages are rare while in uh, moderate uh, hemophilia uh, the range is 1 to 5 IU per DL. Bleeding is really observed after injuries but spontaneous bleeding episodes with no obvious causes may also occur. In severe hemophilia less than 1 uh, uh, IU per DL patients experience recurrent spontaneous bleeding events with uh, hematrosis bleeding into the muscles and soft tissues and other life threatening bleeds as well as excessive bleeding during and following surgery or uh, trauma. What are the signs and symptoms of hemophilia? Recurrent uh, hematrosis leads to hypertrophic synovitis, progressive cartilage degradation and hemophilic uh, arthropathy characterized by chronic pain, severe deformity and reduced uh, morbidity. Patients with non-severe hemophilia also suffers considerable morbidity and an increased uh, mortality risk. Uh, even in patients with mild hemophilia, the mean number of bleeding episodes uh, is uh, 0 0.44 to 4.5 per year which severely interferes with their quality of life. Males with hemophilia have a lower life expectancy than the general male population even after treatment uh, related uh, improvements. The decrease in the life expectancy of patients with hemophilia A 
in developed countries is 30 uh, percent and for those with severe hemophilia A 37 uh, percent. Coagulation cascade and role of uh, factor 8 and uh, factor 9. Uh, blood coating cascade involves three phase uh, initiation, uh, amplification and uh, propagation. Uh, the cascade is triggered by extrinsic and uh, intrinsic uh, pathways. Extrinsic pathway is triggered by uh, tissue factor, uh, TF activated coagulation factor 7, uh, FV7A and consequently TF, uh, F7A complex triggers uh, calcium ion dependent enzymatic reactions in response to injury of blood vessels composed of endothelial cells and the vessel wall. An intrinsic pathway is initiated uh, by contact with collagen and uh, 12, uh, factor 12 will be activated as uh, 12A or 12A uh, activated. When 12A is present, factor 11 will be uh, activated as you can see here uh, in this uh, uh, picture. Then uh, 11A will activate uh, factor uh, 9. Uh, also factor uh, 11A together with factor 8 will convert factor 10 uh, into uh, 10A. Finally, 10A will activate the prothrombin activator uh, triggering the common uh, coagulation uh, pathway as you can uh, see over here. Von Wilbrand factors bind factor uh, 8 which is a key clotting protein and it helps in forming a platelet plug during the clotting uh, process. Let us uh, examine the role of uh, factor 8 uh, in little bit of uh, more detail. Uh, factor 8 is a coenzyme critical in accelerating the generation of 10A and subsequently of thrombin. Sequential activation of clotting factors, both gymosins with factor 8 as cofactors drives coagulation to form thrombin. Factor 8 is therefore central to propagation of a hemostatic response. Circulating factor 8 is bound to VWF factor uh, which stabilizes factor 8 and binds to the subendothelial matrix to mediate platelet addition at sites of injury hence uh, localizing factor 8 at these sites. Following activation by factor 10A or factor 2A mediated proteolysis via amplification and feedback loops, activated factor 8, uh, factor 8A which becomes detached from VWF forms the 10A is complex with factor 9A on the surface of platelets to potentiate factor 10 generation. A secondary role of factor 8 in coagulation is uh, regulation of VWF. Factor 8 stabilizes VWF multimers and renders them more susceptible to degradation by the metalloprotease uh, ADAM TS13, a disintegrin and metalloproteinase with a uh, thrombospondin type 1 motif member 13, while uh, factor 8A uh, which is not VWF bound does not have this uh, effect. What is the role of uh, factor 9? Uh, factor 9 also known as a Christmas factor is a blood clotting factor, uh, is a gymosin of uh, serine protease. Upon activation, factor 9 is converted into the active serine protease and in the presence of uh, calcium ions and membrane phospholipids, it hydrolyzes one arsenine isoleucine bone in factor 10 to form the activated factor 10A. The catalytic efficiency of activated factor 9 is greatly increased by the cofactor, the activated factor 8. The non-covalent complex of factor 9A, factor 8A and factor 10 bound to the phospholipid membrane is called the Xase or 10As and represents a major signal amplification loop in the blood coagulation cascade. Uh, factor 8 hemophilia A. People with hemophilia A 
may suffer spontaneous bleeding events including those that are life threatening and develop joint damage uh, arthropathy as a result of recurrent bleeding into joints. Hemophilia A is caused by decreased activity of plasma coagulation factor 8 due to mutations of the F8 gene uh, encoding the protein. The human factor 8 gene sometimes also called HF8 is localized on the long arm of the X chromosome as we have already known and consists of 26 exons and introns uh, for a total length of 9 kilobase pairs in the coding sequence. Sinusoidal endothelial and uh, kuffer cells in the liver are major sites of factor 8 uh, expression. Let us discuss about the structure of uh, factor 8 uh, protein. Uh, which is involved in the hemophilia A. Uh, the gene encodes a large precursor glycoprotein of 2332 amino acid residues, uh, which is the maximum length, consisting of six structural domains and three acidic subdomains organized in a heavy chain uh, A1, capital A1, small A1, capital A2, small A2, uh, B, and light chain uh, small A3. Uh, capital A3, capital C1, capital C2. Uh, every domain plays a physiological role throughout the life cycle of factor 8 from biosynthesis to clearance. Uh, B domain uh, is a uh, 908 amino acid uh, long region. It is not required for factor 8 uh, clotting uh, activity, but likely to have a role in processing intracellular transport and secretion of uh, factor 8 protein. So, you can see here the heavy chains with uh, capital A, a small a, uh, capital A2, a small a2, this is A1, capital uh, a, a small a3, capital A3, uh, capital C1, uh, capital B2, and uh, sorry uh, capital C2 and the uh, B domain. The B domain is partially removed from mature factor 8 so that several truncated B domain variants of factor 8 circulate in the bloodstream. Complete or partial deletions of the B domain are not associated with significant differences in procoagulant properties of these factor 8 variants. Post translational modification of the factor 8 precursor enable sulfation or tyrosine residues by sulfur transferases in the Golgi apparatus. There are six potential tyrosine sulfation sites on the factor 8 molecule that is four on the heavy chain at amino acid residues 346, 718, 9, 719 and 723 and two on the light chain residues uh, 1664 and 1680. All the six sulfation sites are required to modulate factor 8 activity. Sulfation of key tyrosine residues is crucial not only for the function of factor 8, but also for its stability and binding to von Willebrand uh, factor. Uh, here the domains are integrated with capital letters and subdomains with uh, lowercase letter which I have already explained to you earlier. The glycosylation, uh, glycosylation uh, sites are uh, denoted by the triangles, disulfide bones are denoted by arches, reduced cysteine residues are denoted by orange vertical lines and S inside a uh, circle indicates uh, sulphate tyrosine residues, brackets mark the areas of intercalation with corresponding clotting factors phospholipids PI, von uh, Wilbrand factor, VWF, calcium ions and uh, copper ions. Let us look into the uh, gene structure of uh, F8 uh, which produces this uh, factor 8 protein which we have just discussed. The F8 gene is of 186 kilobases which consists of around 26 exons. Uh, 24 of the exons vary in length from 69 to 262 base pairs. Uh, exons 14 uh, are uh, much larger than the others uh, in length. Uh, most of the exons uh, uh, 26 consist of the 3 prime untranslated 
uh, sequences. Intron 22 contains two further uh, genes F8A and F8B uh, uh, with transcription orientation in opposite directions controlled by a uh, bidirectional uh, promoter. Uh, factor 8 is translated as a single peptide chain with the domain structure of capital A1, small a1, capital A2, small a2, b, small a3, capital A3, capital C1 and uh, capital C2 as you can see here uh, into a single chain. Uh, proteolytic cleavage of uh, factor 8 at uh, a residue uh, 13, uh, 113 and R uh, 1648 by the trans Golgi protease uh, furin as shown in this uh, by these uh, green triangles results in uh, heterodimer uh, formation. The factor 8 heavy chain consisting of capital A1 uh, to capital B and light chain consisting of small a3 to capital C2 remain associated through non-covalent metal ion dependent interactions occurring between the capital E1 and capital A3 domains uh, shown by the red dashes. The beta domain undergoes additional non-specific proteolysis in plasma after uh, secretion. During coagulation, uh, factor 8 single chain or heterodimer is activated to its heterotrimeric cofactor form by cleavage by thrombin at R372, R740 and R1689 uh, shown by the uh, red triangles. Uh, A2 remains associated with capital A1 and small A1 via uh, non uh, covalent interactions uh, shown by the uh, green uh, dashes. In activation of uh, factor 8A uh, occurs via spontaneous capital A to dissociation and or proteolytic cleavage primarily by activated protein C at R336 and R562 uh, uh, shown by these uh, purple uh, triangles. Uh, what happens uh, if there are certain mutations in F8 gene? The F8 gene is a large gene uh, comprising of 26 exons which we, we now know. Uh, in severe hemophilia A, uh, factor 8 activity is almost completely abolished which is most commonly around 45 percent caused by a large uh, intron to inversion of the uh, F8 gene. Uh, point mutations causing hemophilia comprises uh, 85 percent missense mutations which can lead to quantitative or qualitative alterations of protein biosynthesis, secretion, activity or clearance. In some cases, the exonic changes may have detrimental effects on mRNA splicing. Another 15 percent are nonsense mutations and a small percentage 5 percent of large or small deletions and insertions as well as inversions within uh, intron 1. Pathological inversions of the coagulation factor uh, A gene. Half the cases of severe hemophilia A are caused due to a uh, intrachromosomal inversion involving intron 22 of F8 gene uh, which we have just uh, discussed. A fragment referred to as INT22H1 in intron 22 has sequence homology to two fragments that are approximately 500 kilobits uh, telomeric to the uh, F8 gene. Uh, through intrachromosomal homologous recombination, one of these outside regions forms a crossing over structure with a corresponding element within intron 22 resulting in an inversion of exons uh, 1 to 22 with respect to exons uh, 23 to uh, 26 of the F8 gene. So, here we see the direction of uh, transcription of normal F8 gene, uh, here we see the intrachromosomal uh, inversion and uh, crossover uh, during spermatogenesis leading to disruption of the normal uh, F8 uh, gene. And this is the result of 
the mutated gene as shown in this uh, diagram. Factor 9 hemophilia B. The schematic diagram for F9 gene structure and F9 uh, protein uh, processing uh, is shown in this figure. The F9 uh, gene spans 34 kilobases on the long arm of uh, X chromosome uh, at uh, band XQ27.1. The F9 gene contains uh, 8 exons and 7 introns that transcribe into a 2.8 kilobase mRNA with 5 prime and 3 prime uh, non-coding uh, flanking uh, sequences. The coding sequence translates into the F9 precursor uh, including uh, the signal peptide, the propeptide, the GLA domain, the EGF1 domain, EGF2 domain, uh, linker, activation peptide and serine uh, protease domain as shown in this uh, figure. This is the F9 precursor. Processing of uh, the factor 9 protein. F9 belongs to a group of vitamin K dependent glycoproteins which are synthesized in the liver. Uh, F9 precursors undergoes many post translational modifications, uh, gamma carboxylation of multiple glutamic acid residues in the GLA domain, partial beta hydroxylation, N link glycosylation, O link glycosylation, sulfation, and phosphorylation. It further undergoes multiple intracellular processing including the cleavage and removal of the signal peptide and propeptide sequence to form the mature F9 secreted to blood. The inactive F9 gymosin is activated uh, by the cleavage of activation peptide to F9 containing a light chain and heavy chain linked by a disulfate bond as shown in this uh, diagram. What happens due to certain mutations occurring in F9, factor 9? Uh, if you visit this database, factor, factor, X, uh, factor uh, 9 org, a total of 1094 unique mutations located at the F9 gene locus have been uh, reported in 3713 hemophilia B patients. These mutations occur in coding and non-coding regions including promoters, introns and 30 untranslated uh, uh, regions of the F9 gene. Of the uh, 1094 unique mutations, 897 uh, or 82% mutations are found in the coding regions, 15.6% uh, in non-coding regions and 26% in multiple regions. The mutations in the coding regions were almost evenly distributed among the GLA, EGF1, 2 and SP domains but occurred really in the activation peptide. There are several types of F9 mutations including point mutations, deletions, insertions, duplications, indels, neutral polymorphisms and complex changes. Among these point mutations. 73.1% uh, are predominant in the F9 gene locus followed by deletion 16.5% and other variant types. About 88% of patients carry point mutations and only about 12% uh, have uh, deletions, insertions, uh, duplications or indels. Most deletions, insertions, duplications and indels in a coding sequence cause a frame shift generating a truncated or an extended polypeptide with a changed sequence. A small portion of these mutations lead to the in-frame effect uh, which is a deletion and or insertion with multiples of three nucleotides and most patients with frame shift and in-frame mutations so severe hemophilia B. In the introns, uh, deletions, indels and uh, insertions uh, usually cause aberrant splicing leading to severe hemophilia B in almost all of the affected patients. About 2% of unique mutations affect multiple regions of the F9 gene and correspond to gross deletions of the gene which also leads to severe hemophilia B. Uh, individuals with gross deletions have the highest risk, uh, about 43% of inhibitor development, 
For hemophilia B patients with point mutations, their bleeding phenotypes vary from severe to mild and there are multiple mechanisms causing factor 9 uh, deficiency. General point mutations in the promoter region result in hemophilia B leaden, uh, those in the axons cause missense, nonsense or silent mutations and those in the introns cause aberrant splicing. In hemophilia B leaden condition, uh, low plasma levels are uh, about 1 to 13 percent of normal of blood coagulation factor 9 uh, during childhood are observed. However, after reaching puberty, patients begin to produce uh, factor 9, uh, 25 percent increase in expression as the hormonal uh, changes occur. Uh, with this, we come to end of uh, part A of this lecture. We will be continuing this lecture in part B. Uh, thank you uh, for your patient hearing.